All right, so uh, we're changing the water supply lines on a um, hot water heater. These are some of the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a large crescent wrench, maybe a medium-sized crescent wrench. The pipe we're changing is three-quarter inch. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver to drain your hot water heater. You could possibly need a little uh, hacksaw like this if you're in a tight spot. You could use a, uh, a pipe cutter or a larger pipe cutter, depending on the size pipe you're cutting. Some Teflon tape to wrap around the seals or the uh, threads. And possibly three-quarter inch copper pipe to uh, make it a little extension if you need to. Um, and that's pretty much all the tools you're going to need. Also, you're going to need the... Uh, water hot water heater connection kit which is a uh, three-quarter inch with a shutoff valve I went ahead and decided to go with shark bite just because I'm a homeowner um, I could do this very professional and solder it on which would probably be the better way to go but this is much easier I don't have to wait for the lines to to drain out and stuff like that and I'm also home a lot uh, there's always somebody home, so if it starts to leak later in the future, hopefully one of us will catch that and we'll be able to shut the water off and, and fix it before any, uh, if one of these shark bites fails to, uh, starts to fail and leak. You're uh, going to need a, a possibly, uh, possibly going to need a three quarter inch cup link. Push to connect. This is all push to connect. And then this is three quarter inch um, thread, thread on. These, go, these, these are going to go on top of the hot water heater and these push to connect onto the existing pipe that's in the wall. And this is just in case the pipe's not long enough. You can push that onto the pipe and connect it like that. And then this would then go connect onto there. Just It's all push to connect. It's all very simple. Regular homeowners who are not licensed plumbers who decide to do it themselves to save some money can do it this way i would not recommend using these things in you know inside interior walls under your house inside concrete stuff like that definitely would not use it to do that type of stuff but with it being a water heater very easily accessible and very easy to inspect daily uh or yearly however you want to do it this would be a cheap alternative as far as price goes and how easy it is to, to install yourself okay so this is the hot water heater it's a little bit dirty you know as most people's hot water heaters are it's also a relatively old hot water heater it's a 40 gallon none of that really matters i'm sorry 50 gallon none of that really matters the main thing is before you start doing your work up here what you're going to want to do is turn the uh va turn the heat all the way down and then actually turn the gas burner off on the off position so the water is no longer being heated. You're going to want to turn your gas off. If it's gas, you're going to want to turn your gas off. That way there's no gas supply coming to the hot water heater to work on it. Once you do that, you're going to want to uh, drain your hot water heater. So that's just right here. You're going to just, uh, it's not leaking. I just got done draining it and I didn't clean it up. So I didn't drain it all the way. I just drained about five gallons out of it. You're going to just basically place a big bucket right here and stick your flathead screwdriver in there and twist it. It's a valve. Water comes out. Close it. Dump the water out. It's drained. You could also connect a garden hose to it. Once you do those two things, this is the problem. It's uh, this old pipe right here. That soldered in is um, has been leaking from right here because I guess the something failed right here and it's just been dripping drip 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 and it's corroded this pipe and you can see it just made a mess up here. Um, so all you're gonna do is turn the water off to the house. Obviously, this is the cold water in where it goes into the hot water heater, heats up, and then it goes out. That's the hot water, and it even says it right there. can't see it but it does say it there it is hot so I'm gonna do some other stuff to this hot water heater like take care of this venting problem and everything like that it vents properly but it just looks like crap anyway 
So you're going to take your crescent wrench and after you depressurize it and let the water out, you're going to just turn this very carefully. If it's corroded like that, you want to start off going slowly. That way you don't break the, uh, depending on how rusted and corroded it is, that way you don't break this. Take your crescent wrench to where it fits snug so you don't strip it out and just unscrew it until it comes off. You want to make sure you have your water off for this and you want to make sure that you depressurized it. That way you don't get sprayed with hot water, scolding hot water, and have to go take a trip to the emergency room. You're going to have some water leak out, so you want to have a towel handy for that, which I got right here. soak up any of the water that might come out there now it's disconnected from the hot water heater we're going to take some of that uh, sandpaper tape and clean this up probably a wire brush we're going to clean all these threads up and make them real pretty and shiny again uh, that way when we put the new pipe on it makes a nice good connection no rust no corrosion so it'll hopefully last a few more years this water heater really already needs to be replaced but as of right now, this is the only fail we've had. Next, we're going to get our pipe cutter and we're going to cut this off at the wall, but not too close. We're going to try to come right back here and cut it off right at the weld, or at, right there. And uh, we're going to cut that off and put the, the, uh, the new pipe on. Okay, well, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but we're going to go ahead and get this pipe going here. We're going to do is we're going to take our pipe cutter hopefully it's not too big it's not made for tight spaces but i think i can get to it from here with this take our pipe cutter i'm going to make one pass tighten it up make two passes each time you make a complete 360 a pass is what I call it you want to tighten it up I kind of go by feel you're gonna have some water drip out so you just want to be prepared for that no big deal No big deal at all bam there you go now you got your pipe cut off but you're gonna see this right here next step is we've got to get uh we got to get our pipe uh sandpaper pipe uh pipe sandpaper clean this up all right sorry for the video quality kind of hard to get your camera in here and get a good angle of it but what you're going to do is you're going to just take your sandpaper cloth I don't know what that is hanging down you're going to clean the all the whole pipe you're going to clean all sides all diameters of the pipe make it you want to make it look like new shiny copper again top and bottom This is to ensure a good connection when you put the uh, push to connect on the shark bite fitting. Again, you're going to see videos on shark bites where a lot of professional plumbers say not to use them and they explain why. It's up to you as a homeowner where you want to use them. There's uh, always going to be some instances where you want to use them or where you don't want to use them. I already told you my instances. One of these I think will be just fine for the hot water heater. But, you know, maybe inside your wall where you can't easily access it, 
You can't see it, you can't inspect it. Probably not a good idea. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. You can see that pipe getting real nice and shiny. You wanna just make sure you have a good, clean cut. Hacksaws, that's why I don't use a hacksaw. On copper, I like to use those pipe cutters. Because it makes a good, clean cut, no burrs. You have burrs on your copper pipe, then you gotta clean that up. And that's a nice, clean cut. No, no burrs. Burrs meaning no little sticky, sharp metal copper pipe pieces sticking off the in there. Excuse me. Very simple. There, it's done. Then, just try to clean it up a little bit so you can see how much better that looks. Give it a quick inspection all the way around and you can see that it's nice and shiny and that's going to give us plenty of room to slide our push to connect on there now for whatever reason if it's if if it's uh, too short to reach over here to the threaded part that's why i bought that uh cup link but we'll see we'll get to that part in a minute next uh next step is to see if i can get this camera around here sorry about that Next step is going to be to clean this up right here. So we're going to go get our uh, wire brush, start cleaning this up. All right, so we got our wire brush. You want to make sure you wear your uh, eye protection when you're doing this. We just want to clean those threads up. Careful not to go on top because what a lot of people don't know is that there's uh, like plastic PVC on the top of this and like this little plastic piece that goes in here. You're not supposed to lose that and you don't want to booger all that plastic up either. Anyway, I'm not going to record myself doing this the whole time, but you get the point. You're going to go around the whole entire pipe that comes out of the hot water heater if you have corrosion like I do. And you're going to want to just use a wire brush or whatever you got that you can clean that up with and try to get all that corrosion and rust off. When you get done with that, I'll come back. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I know it's not perfect looking but we got it cleaned up as good as I can I can feel it and it doesn't feel like it has any more really any major rust or corrosion on it I know it's not super shiny or pretty looking still do some more cleaning here and everything but I think this would take much better now next step is Teflon tape this up and uh, put the new pipe on remember key about Teflon tape is when you put the Teflon tape on go counterclockwise or clockwise either. put it on the same way that you would thread the pipe on don't do it the opposite way because when you go the opposite way then when you're threading the pipe on then uh the teflon tape just comes off and you don't even know it okay so there it is push to connect three quarter inch sharp bite fitting hot water heater kit connection supply lines there's one of them that's the inlet that's the end that's the cold water with the shutoff valve going into the hot water heater heats up and then we still got to replace this one this one was not leaking but i'm gonna replace it looks like shit in here anyway get rid of all this crap this stuff was here before this is an old house so this stuff is they must have had, I don't know what was going on in here. This is like half inch or some shit. This is three quarter inch. But we'll get rid of all this and get rid of this. Make that hole look better. Do some drywall repair. But for now, this one's done. Brand new. Cleaned it up. We'll still do some cleaning. We're going to clean the top of all this. This is just dirt and water where it was leaking. Dust, shit. But now the real test is to turn it on and see if this thing leaks. If it does, we gotta start all over. 
Okay, so showed you how to do that one. The other side, the outlet is identical. This is the hot water coming out of the hot water heater going to the to the house supplying everything that requires hot water. And there it is. I had to I should have used it on this one. It was a really tight fit. I really stretched that pipe, but I mean it's okay. It's still got a slight curve in it. It's not leaking here or from the thread. All this is still drying. It's not leaking from back here or here. I've tested the valve. This one this side wasn't leaking originally, but it started leaking when I was replaced this one. So I don't know if the pressure or maybe me having to move the water heater around. Both pipes are really old. All this will be replaced later, but not leaking here or here. So again, this is the cold shut off valve, three quarter inch sharp bite coming in to the hot water heater. Heats up, comes out here. And that's all there is to replacing a hot water heater supply line. Made simple by Sharkbite.